Okay. So we're getting ready to um, go over the second part of Module 14, Lesson 3. Um, yesterday we talked about the first part of Module 1, Lesson 3. Um, the first example was, was us just basically um, reading the data and um, answering the questions about it. The second question, we had to make a frequency table, which we did um, in D here. We kind of just went through the steps and we made the frequency table. Now today, we're going to make a frequency table as well as um, create a frequency, I'm sorry, we're gonna do the frequency table and the histogram. So let's talk about number three. A movie theater records the number of pretzels it sells per day for two weeks. The pretzel sales data are shown in the list. Make a histogram to represent the data. So, um, first thing it tells us, hopefully you guys remember this for your um, upcoming test, you need to put the data in order from least to greatest. So, starting with our smallest number, it looks like it's going to be um, 8. Then it looks like we have 9. Um, some... Okay, it does not look like it's a 10 in there, so the next number is going to be 11. Um, so 12, 13, 15. Alright, so I'm going to just make sure I don't want to get ahead of myself, make sure I cross out those numbers. So I'm going to cross out 12, 13, 15, 17. And the reason why I'm crossing them out is to make sure that I stay or I keep up with the numbers that I have used or have not used. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like the next number should be 21. After 21, it looks like it's going to be 28. Then it's going to be 31. 34. I'm going to change into the pin because so you guys will be able to see it, but it looks like 37, 43, and 50. So 37, 43, and 50. Now, it goes on to say to you all, the numbers vary from, so what's the lowest number? What's the highest number? So that's the variation of the numbers from 8 to 50. So then it goes on to tell you, hey, you need to do a scale of 1 to 50. That is what your scale needs to be. Then for C, it says divide the data into five equal size increments. So my question to you all is, what's the highest number we're using on our scale? So we're going to take that 50. And we're going to divide it by 5 because they want us to divide the data into 5 equal increments. And I wrote down the wrong thing. So 50 divided by 5 is going to give us 10. So that means that, and it is okay ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to stay on fast. So, as I stated, um, each interval is going to have 10 numbers. So, you're going to have to count, just so you guys understand, interval 1 will have 1 through 10. Interval 2 will have 11 through 20. Interval, um, or the third interval will have 21 through, what is it going to be? 30. It's not going to be 31. Um, because like I said on yesterday, you have to include the very first number, and I think Ms. Morgan said that on yesterday as well. You have to include the first number, so it'll be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Because every interval has to have the same number. Not the same number, the same amount of numbers. So again, all of these must have 10. Going forward, the next fourth interval will be 31 through 40. Then we will have 41 to 50. So those are all of our intervals. 
Now, the intervals are representing the pretzel sold. So here, we're going to write those same intervals, which represent, represent the pretzel sold. So I have 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, and 41 to 50. In order for me to determine the frequency, I have got to go back up here and look at the numbers that we use in our data. So with that being said, how many number numbers appear between the 1 and 10 mark? 2. The two numbers are 8 and 9. So you will write a 2 as it relates for the frequency. How, number, how many numbers appear between the 11 to 20 mark? Okay, she says 5. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is correct. How many numbers appear between the 21 and the 30 mark? Okay, it is 2. 21 and 28 is 2. How many appear in the 31 and 40 mark? Okay, 31 and 40. 1, 2, 3. And lastly, how many numbers appear between the 41 and 50? It should be 2. 43 and 50. That is going to be 2. Now, I'm going to go back to my pencil just in case I make a mistake. Now, frequency. These are our frequencies, meaning how many times it is occurring or how many of those numbers is occurring during that interval. So, the frequency. Let's look at this. What is my lowest number? Two. Two. And what is my highest number? Five. Five. So, if I'm putting this on my graph, you guys made graphs before, what do you think we should count by? Two. Two. Five. Okay, so why not? Okay, I don't want to count by five if my five is my highest. Because then, excuse me, I'll be doing five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so I won't have no data. So, I did hear the answer. We should count by one. When we start off on our graph, we need to start with a zero. So then it'll be zero. One, two, three, four, and then five. Over here is where I put my intervals. So I start off with my first interval, which will be 1 to 10. My second interval, 11 through 20. My third interval, 21 through 30. Fourth interval, 31 through 40. And lastly, my last interval, 41 through 50. Now, we're going to make our histogram. How many, um, or what's the frequency of the interval of 1 through 10? 2. So, now, the thing with histograms, if you paid attention um, to the one we did at the very beginning, one of the things you notice about the histograms, and I'm just kind of going back to this one, is the numbers with those bars, they overlap. So histograms do not have spaces in them like regular bar graphs. So when I draw this, my lines are going to overlap. So I'm going to start over here. And it says it's 2. And I'm probably going to go to about 3. Then I'm going to come over here and look to see what 11 to 20 is. And 11 to 20 has a frequency of what? Five. So I'm going to start, oh, kind of overlap with that line, go to the top, and then I kind of want to stay. The 11 to 20 mark is kind of here, so I'll stop it maybe there. And like mine, you want yours to touch. Then I'm going to do the 21 to 30. What's the number for 20? Well, what's the frequency for 21 to 30? Two. So again, okay. Okay, we've done the um. So now we've done the twenty-one to thirty. Now we need to do thirty-one to forty, which is what three.
And then last we have the 40 to 50, which is what? What's 41 to 50? Two. Now, if you would like, sometimes I do this, I would just write what the frequencies are in each box. So this frequency again, 1 to 2 is going to be 2. The frequency of 11 to 20 is going to be 5. The frequency of 21 to 30 is 2. The frequency of 31 to 40 is going to be 3. And then lastly, 40 to 41 is going to be 2. Now, you guys have some practice. Your practice that I would like for you all to do is going to be on page 459. I would like for you guys to do the whole entire page of 159. We will go over this on tomorrow. So 1A, B, C, number 2, 2A, two 2B, two we will talk about this on tomorrow. Again, the whole entire page, page 250, I'm sorry, 459, 459.